So then guys, this very video feels very important to me as a content creator because for the first time ever, Fifine has done speakers. Not headphones, not their amazing microphones, but speakers. And I really wanna know what in the world these sound like. Get that off. Okay, so it's about bang on the size. Here we are. Fifine Ampler Game A20 gaming speakers, RGB, that's it. And then when we open it up, we're given a tiny instruction manual and inside are the little speakers. And these are very neat, to be honest. Uh, we'll, we'll deal with it as we go along and uh, we'll try a few different genres of things. We'll play a few games. I'll try and give you the best idea of what they sound like, but this is how the speakers look. Very nice build quality, no sharp edges, metal grill, RGB bars in the middle of both of them. Nice and clicky. Good, they've done a good job with that. So let's actually see what they sound like. First things first, look at the RGBs. These look so, so good. That's RGB done properly. So it's touch sensitive as we kind of imagined it would be. It's double tap to get special ones like the reactive versions. So yeah, ideally we'd probably have them something like this, just so when I'm playing they're facing me and I can hear them. So let's actually do a bit of gameplay and show you how they sound and all that stuff. So this is kind of as low down as I can go. So let's listen to like maybe a bit of audio. So this is no equaliser, this is with the equaliser on. This is with it on, this is with it off. Makes a big difference having it on. Like having the Dolby equaliser on makes a huge difference to the sound quality and uh, gives it a little bit of extra oomph. So I'm gonna leave it on for now, but we'll turn it off when we get to the drop as well. One problem I've got immediately is these are lacking any real treble or bass response. They just kind of fill in what I would like to say is a perfect balance between a TV speaker and a laptop speaker. You're somewhere in between one of those. These speakers might even sound better than your TV speakers, but in my personal, you know, because I've got an LG C2 Evo, I think my TV speakers might be just an ounce better than these A20s. Still though, for 50 bucks, or 50 pounds what are you actually getting because you're getting rgb light bars you're getting you know stereo speakers you're getting features that i think most people who are using a desktop pc are probably going to want i've said this before but not everybody can have thumping subwoofers massive speakers or anything along those lines some people are very restricted due to the place that they live or the place that they are bound to be however i i personally don't like the sound quality without the equalizer I personally prefer how the speaker sound stood up opposed to on its side. So maybe having them on the side isn't so much of a good idea. One thing I will say, even with the equalizer, is I'm not noticing any distortion inside the speakers or the drivers, and I'm not noticing any actual issues with these speakers. I do think, again, these sound better stood up rather than on their side, because a lot of people will put these on their side, but I don't recommend it. I prefer having them straight up. And they look really neat, don't they? They really do. They look like some alien boxes. And I think for most setups, considering how like streamlined they look and how kind of parallel they look, uh, yeah, this, this would go great in a setup, you know, side to side if you want these speakers like if you want to replace tv speakers laptop speakers or just just built-in speakers to a monitor these are just ideal to replace those i can't see any other real reason why you'd buy them though because i'm not a huge fan of how they sound in comparison to say my soundbar or say my actual tv speakers but that's because i've got a very expensive tv and a decently expensive soundbar which is 50 dollars more than these little speakers right here it's one of those things in it for the price you're getting quite a lot 
and you can't complain about that. This video I wanted to do pretty quickly because we're going to be covering the speakers and um, I just want to do it in a way that is not offensive but is honest and I do this because Fifine is a company that I am very fond of. It is a company that I honestly believe that in terms of budget microphones and budget headphones they are some of the best out there but I'm going to be a little bit light on them for the plain fact this is their first time but that's why critiques are important so let's get back into this so the A20s have done something quite unique which not many speakers do and that is giving you a six degree elevation this is nice because it means that you're going to be able to put them in specific places and you're going to be able to hear the audio a bit better because it will be coming up to your ears opposed to you having to have them level with the table and them just firing in front of your straight past you which is a bit annoying because most speakers do this unless you buy a soundbar and you've got multiple different audio sources coming up the back of your telly and round and in front of you and all that but you're also getting six to seven lighting modes i'm going to be completely honest the rgb is a cool feature but it's not needed i understand why it's there it's for aesthetic purposes in gaming um but if you could have put the extra money into slightly better drivers or even mini passive subwoofers or whatever that would have been a lot better for me personally because uh, as i mentioned i don't think the the bass is very very punchy very prevalent at all it's not really there to be honest even with the equalizer it's not something i can say oh yeah the bass was amazing on it it really wasn't but i mean if you're comparing that to say like a laptop or you're comparing that to say a smartphone or a tv speaker you know probably better than mostly everybody's TV speakers, laptop speakers, or phone speakers. So it's going to be replacing those. And I was obviously, as I was saying, depending on who you are, these are going to fill the void of, you know, maybe you live in a flat or an area and you're not allowed to blast music at stupidly high volume. So that is obviously going to be helpful. But again, for someone like me, this soundbar costed a hundred pounds, probably a little less now. And with the equalizer, it's got quite a lot of bass and it sounds very good. And I would rather spend that extra money to get something better. I understand Fifine may do something amazing just because of this review alone. I am kind of hoping that Fifine across the board makes something for everyone in terms of the enthusiasts as well. Because I understand that Fifine's going for the budget end because a lot of people will buy these and be very happy with them and i can see why they would be my problem is that sometimes you need to push past that budget zone and i'm not saying you have to include an app with your microphones you don't have to do anything insane but it would be very nice if we saw a 150 dollar mic that was competing with say the sm58 the shore beta a58 m58 i can't remember if i got it right it's one of those we need something that's directly competing with that and if you can add software and you can add extra features to it you've got a winner on your hands for most voice actors out there acoustic tuned microphones are gonna really pop off for fifine because they're already in the gaming community i personally think now you need to get yourself known with voice actors and podcasters but that's just me this also relates to the a20s the a20s a40s a60s a80s i don't know and they get bigger and bigger until you eventually get studio monitors that are like 200 pound i don't know if a fifine would be interested in doing that but for me personally stuff like that would be absolutely amazing and if you guys can do what you're doing especially with microphones the competition with the price is just pretty much unheard of but it's just getting up there and i'm not quite sure that we're there with fifine yet but we're getting there and i'm very excited to see what they do and what they have coming in the future getting back to it so of course you have usb connection i presume just to power the speakers and to obviously get them to work with the rgb and then you've got an aux cable i don't really have that many usb ports on my pc and i don't really have many more aux ports because they're kind of kind of covered up right now so to get me to do this review i had to unplug some things which is a bit of a bother but I mean, it's the whole part of reviewing things. You just have to set things up for the time being and try them out. And yeah, obviously you've got a nice front volume and power off control so you can turn them off quickly or turn them up and down quickly. Personally, I think these are generally you can get more treble from using an equalizer and you can get a little bit more bass but th there's just not enough room and there's not enough driver coverage to really get any actual bass out of them so you you kind of just sit there with like a like a kick bass it's kind of hard to explain because most speakers with a subwoofer in them it's difficult as i say i for me personally if these are 30 40 pounds yes 50 pounds i'm a bit stuck on it i don't know a lot of the time a lot of you guys are here to am i being honest you know you might want to buy these um but i don't really have much to compare them to i'm going to be honest especially at this price range so i can't say these are bad um the only things i've got in comparison are my soundcore motion boom which is a hundred pound 
my sound bar, which is a hundred pound, my Motion Boom Plus, which is a hundred and fifty, two hundred pound speaker. I don't have anything I can compare it to for the price. I've heard a lot worse for thirty pounds and stuff. So as I say, thirty, forty quid is absolutely spot on, especially for competition. And I still don't, I still don't think they're bad for fifty. I'm not saying they're bad. I just think the spot on sweet price for retail should have been forty five, and then. You know, as the discounts come out, wiggle it down to maybe 35, something like that. And I think you've got yourself pretty much guaranteed sales there. I'm just finding it difficult to recommend from a perspective where I've got much better equipment. But again, it costs double. And so you'd expect it to be double better. Not unless you're Apple, of course, but that's a different story. But um, I am excited to try out the Tank 3 and the, the SC1. The next time you see me, likely I'll be reviewing those. I will have other videos coming out over the next couple of weeks, but we'll, we'll get into those at another point. I do apologize. I haven't been the most mentally well or physically well, so I probably haven't been super excited during this video, but I promise you this is very grateful and uh, I recommend these, definitely. Again, just to clarify, you're gonna be replacing your TV speakers, your laptop speakers, very likely your monitor speakers, and obviously your phone speakers, because uh, they sound a lot better than them. When you're going into, are these gonna be the best thing for gaming? Are these gonna be the best thing for this and that? Probably not, but again, depending on your circumstances, they might be honestly the best you can get anyway. So really it's gonna depend. You heard, uh, if you're listening to the sound file of me with the little bit of gameplay I showed at the start and the music playing in the background and me jumping around and obviously the music, listen to it with a good pair of headphones. I'm not on about fucking one pound, one dollar store earphones. Listen to them with some good earphones or some good headphones and, and let me know what you think of the sound from your end because obviously it might be picked up differently on the camera. But other than that, that's all guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to enjoy testing them for the rest of the time that I have them. And uh, peace. <laughs>